I'll try again. I'd say there's Phil down there watching his tape. The wind is absolutely howling. I've taped over the uh, the openings on this case and hope that does the job. Uh, I have had one find so far. It's, uh, nothing really exciting, but we found a little car was laying that way up. And it's the mailman, the matchbox gun, postal service. Now we've got that away. Right, on to the next one. I found a few more bullets and a piece of printing block but that is a great big chunk of iron pyrite fool's gold look I'll clean that up when I get home and show you a bit better but, uh, oh, something different isn't it yeah. there you go right moving on Just found a second fishing way in the same hole. A great big cone shaped one. Been in there a while. Right, on. Right, we're finding loads of fishing weights and uh, bullets. I haven't bothered filming them. It is so windy it's difficult trying to film. But that I've just found, you can see that, is a firing pin holder out of an incendiary bomb. That little bit sticking out there, look, is where the safety pin would have gone the firing pin would have been through the middle of that that's got to be I don't know about 20 or so down here so far anyway moving on well this one was giving me a weird signal it's only giving me 10 really deep tone I don't know what it's made from what the devil it is anybody got any ideas answer on a postcard please Right, moving on. we we'll find some weird things down here. Oh, what the devil that is. Oh, oh well. Moving on. I don't know what that is. It's, uh, I hope you can hear this to say because the wind is just absolutely screaming out here. Must be blowing about four, six or seven. Anyway, we'll clean it up and see what it is when I get home. Oh, that made a nice change. Got a nice little pistol ball. Oh, you can see where it was rammed down as well. Well, I'm buggered. That's a nice one. Oh, <laughs> moving just on. Just taking the target out, just dug that great big lugworm out. He's a whopper. I asked Phil if he wants it for his tea. He says he'll have it on toast. Right, let's put him back. Moving on. Where that lead weight came from, or that lugworm, I should say, came from. Look, that's an unusual lead weight. Funny looking one, isn't it? Oh well. Moving on. I've just found a great big Enfield. The size of that. God. It's a whopper. a couple of foot from where I just found that big bit of copper there's a, a blown up bullet uh, right moving on Could be another bit of aircraft. I seem to be finding a lot around this area. Right, moving on. Whatever that last bit was, I just found another bit in the same hole. 
don't know what that is. Oh, what? We're cleaning. Oh, it's got a thumb wheel on it. Look. We'll clean that when we get home. See what it is. Moving on. Now it's still in the same mould. Just found another piece. I better check this hole out. And see if there's any more in here. Yep. Just right, found moving on. Piece. Look at that. Right, put that in the bag. We'll check to see if there's any more in there. Look at that. Know. I don't know if that's going to show up on there. It says on there, Mark 1A turning indicator. It's got the Air Ministry stamp on it. Well, I'm buggered. Best find yet. Wow. Right, I'm still in the same hole. Just pulled that out. That's a uh, live 303. That's about eight targets I've had out of that hole now. Right, I'm going to have to move because the tide's overtaken me. Just dug that out. Oh, bugger, there goes me metal detector. Right, put that in the bag and we see what the other target is he's yeah, got. Just dug that out of Phil's hole. Clean that out when we get home and see what it is. Right, moving on. Look at that. Just laying on the surface, look. What is it? Oh, it's half crown. 1950. It ain't silver anyway. Just laying on the surface. Ooh, that's a nice find. Yeah. Hey, everyone. This is a roundup it's, uh, from Friday. I was out with Mark. No, I wasn't. I was out with Phil. Uh, I was using my old Mine Lab Quattro. Phil was using uh, his AT Pro, and this is a mixture of some of the parts we found. Quite a few aircraft-related parts. This is uh, bits of uh, aluminium. That was that big lump of crud, and that was piece of Bakelite was actually stuck to the crud little bits of brass this thing here I'll tell you the museum see if they know what it is looks like it's got a ball race on that end so must have rotated but, uh, I think these are bits of bomb shrapnel that's the firing pin holder out of uh, incendiary bomb that looks like some sort of hose connection it's still got rubber around it and there is a serial number on there which we can look up that's another piece of it this looks like a battery terminal and it's got air ministry on it and a serial number and we've got this uh, plug and I think I've got most of it you can see the actual bits of it another bit there the back end of that one it's possibly one of the gun plugs and I found this little tiny piece and it turns out if you can see it on there I don't know if it will show up it says turning indicator mark one it's got the crown air minister and the serial number and it's still got the needle on it look there should be another one underneath so it's a turn and bank indicator if I can find a picture I'll put a picture of what it should look like this is in the center of the, the turn and bank indicator Anyway, that was another piece of aluminium that was in a big piece of crud. That, again, I think is aircraft related. On the other side of it, it's got a, a line on there, so I should imagine that was painted and must have had something on it. And this big bit of copper. I don't know if that's radiator related. It had lots of tubes soldered into it. But... Uh, We'll see if we can find out when we get to the museum and there's a brass ring that looks like it was soldered to something it's still got the lead on it again aircraft related i think that's part of a bomb fuse a bit of shrapnel another bit of shrapnel there look these are bullets from an aircraft and they're dated 1943, that one's still live, I've got to drill that out and take everything out of it, make it safe. And there's this great big bit of brass, again aircraft related, but uh, what it came from, your guess is as good as mine, but we'll have a look when we get in the museum. Uh, there's another bullet there, you can see that one's been in severe heat and it's exploded, that's dated, I think it's 1943. 
Um, so see how it's gone there. I can't read the rest of it. And we got a big Enfield bullet. And little musket ball. That one, if you can see the ring on that, you can see where the ramrod pushed it down. The rest of them's all nine mils. Lots of little nine mils. Three oh three. Some of them still stuck in bits of crud. Look. Another one there and a bit of crud. And I found this thing. I've got a clue what that is. It's got little dots all down the side of it. Obviously a catch for something. Anybody know what that is? Let me know. Then there's that. I've cleaned that up. And it's looking quite nice now. I've got an idea that's probably a coat of some sort. Been snapped off there, look. Another little bit of brass that's been knocked around. It's got a thread on the inside of it. So what that was off, I haven't got a clue. And there's this big lump. I think that's a bit of iron pyrite or false gold. That was laid in a rock pool. A few fishing weights, some old ones, bits of lead. And that was the first thing I found. It was laying upside down like that in the sand. And it's a little mail truck, matchbox one. So he still goes. A few other bits of lead there, all melted lead. I think that's a splattered bullet. That's a bit of old uh, two core lead cable. Uh, that's spacer block out of a printing press. When I was at school, I did a lot of printing. I've seen these things. I found a lot of this stuff on the beach or in the rock pools and also printing plates. So I think you look at one of my other videos, you'll see some of the printing plates I've found. This is another bit of aluminium in a piece of crud just to show you what it looks like when it is still in the crud this is a piece of two inch mortar again still in the crud i ain't going to bother cleaning that up i've got so many of them i don't know what to do with them all and they're all bits that broke off it and then my last find when i was walking up the beach is a half crown that was just laying on the surface and that's uh, 1950 so it's cooper nickel it's not a silver one which is a shame Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a really windy day, so I'm sorry about the noise on it. I did try my best. I sellotaped all the holes up on my GoPro. And uh, still, you <laughs> got the noise. And there are no helicopters this time. So, anyway, until the next time, bye from me.